Okay guys, hi. Uh, this is just a, again another quick unboxing video. Um, I've noticed that um, no one's actually put one of these uh, TP-Link uh, power over Ethernet through a voltage or through power um, type of uh, extenders. Um, we've got several extenders in the uh, in our house at the moment, uh, but I'm adding this uh, TLWPA 8630P kit, which effectively is a Wi-Fi um, uh, essentially a stender uh, by the fact that it actually will mirror your Wi-Fi um, or the router information and your SSID um, and then it uses this one to actually uh, transmit the signal from your router uh, off, off to the uh, uh, the actual mains power and then through your mains power off onto Wi-Fi so effectively what's happening is that um, Ethernet traffic is going to uh, come through from your router onto this one use your mains circuit inside your house um, and then it gets rebroadcasted out uh, through uh, the uh, SSID of your device itself. Um, this is a MIMO setup, so um, this is quite a, a nice setup here. And um, again, there's some uh, pictorial pictures about um, how they uh, how they actually operate. But um, let me unbox it and get the the units out. Right. So what do you actually get in the box? Um, they give you two Ethernet cables. I haven't seen how long they are yet, but um, I'll have a look at them. Uh, you get a little card which tells you about its SSID um, for this device. Um, you get notifications and then the usual sort of stuff. Uh, and then finally, there's a quick start guide here, um, which will allow you to uh, set the actual thing up itself. But um, from the uh, from the, the Ethernet point of view, you can see we've got a UK plug here. Um, and with this one, uh, let me turn it around, uh, cover up the, uh, the information. So again, uh, it's quite big. Uh, you've got um, the uh, ability to set up the pairing uh, and obviously switch on and off the Wi-Fi. Uh, and then over here is the um, switch off on the LEDs and then the reset um, on this one. Nothing on this side of it. Um, and then you again have the pairing button on here. Um, and then the single Ethernet for the inside. So this one's going to be the main one for my house. Uh, and then this one's going to go into the kitchen and this is going to serve up essentially uh, the rest of the house itself um, and uh, I will uh, go through the setup um, as quickly as possible. So I hope that uh, the introduction of those devices helped you out. Now what I want to do is take you through the Mac application. So this is the tool and utility allowing me to explore the various different devices that I have on my network. So the three numbers you can see is the speed at which the communication is to the different devices. The upper one is uh, an older uh, device from uh, TP-Link uh, as well as the one on the left. The one on the right is the new wireless node and you can see there's some configuration opportunities there which I can put in so I can add in my user password and ID uh, to log into the device and then obviously explore the uh, various settings on it and this will give me another pop-up uh, to allow me to look at uh, various bits and pieces on the screen itself and just make sure that uh, the device is uh, is functioning correctly. Uh, it's not very uh, rich in, in its uh, setup, but uh, it gives me some possibility to look at it. I can turn it off and on the LEDs, so the uh, fact that you can see uh, some of the LEDs which are white and some of them which are green indicates the LED traffic. And here's some tips that were put in there, which I think is quite funny just to show you how not to set this thing up. Uh, the next one is the uh, web app, and uh, this is for the device itself. So this is now for the web app and uh, this uh, gives you a, a lot more feature rich information about the device as far as configuration setup, network and the uh, various types of uh, Wi-Fi configuration. So we can explore the clients which are on here. Uh, we have Wi-Fi swap which is very handy and you've got the uh, two radio frequencies 2.7 and 5 gigahertz uh, to set up here as well as the various settings for obviously the uh, security. Other things you can do is um, review the uh, the clients on the system. You can lock people out obviously of the network as well as uh, setting up the guest network which I think is really handy. And there are some other bits and pieces on here which are also quite useful so that you can see the logs and utilities uh, that are being used at the moment. So the next uh, section I want to actually take you through is a speed test on the actual device itself. So here I'm using my iPad and uh, this is the device in the kitchen. Uh, so you can see we're connected up through Wi-Fi and I'm using speedtest.net 
as my go-to app. So uh, my broadband speed is 150 megabits per second. Um, and uh, due to the uh, the traffic uh, through the power over Ethernet itself, um, we're getting around about uh, 400, uh, sorry, 44 uh, megabits per second uh, down and uh, around about uh, 30 megabits per second uh, up. Um, 30 megabits per second up is actually the maximum speed. Hey, if you guys like this video, um, as always, please like and subscribe. It uh, just helps us all out in uh, in the world of YouTube.